she started at the age of 11, people told her to stop. Fortunately for us, she didn't listen. With her complex views on postmodernism, D. Nasty was the first person to ever incorporate the theory of mathematics into her lyrics. <laughs> Mathematical skills aside, B. Nasty not only speaks to the community, but inspires them to better themselves and the world. Number 9, Joe. My name is Joe, my name is Joe, I live in Bo and you can't go Bo. Being the only rapper that ever sucked Kim Jong-un's dick, Joe easily earns a number 8 spot. Ain't gonna go, ain't gonna try, ain't gonna go. I'm not been fag, motherfucker, fag is taking over the industry, 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 motherfucker, fag Ivy League graduate Brooke Candy acted as a beacon of hope for the entire genre. Racking up two Nobel Peace Prizes and a presidential role in the feminist community, Brooke Candy speaks for women on a global scale. Although there is one female rapper that tops her on this list, Brooke will always remain the queen of knowledge. Next time they call you a slut, Brooke Candy tells you not to give a fuck. Number 7, Dylan. What would winning the X Factor mean to you? It's not really winning it, it's going on and progressing with the future of music. Alright, you ready? Ready? I'm ready. Oh, okay. I got this car from this Bugatti. I'm strong in this Bugatti. Two BAC notes and seconds drop this car from this Bugatti. Number six. Three pot. I love me chickens. I love me chickens. I love me chickens. I love me chickens. Me chickens of me. Me chickens of me. Me chickens of me. Me chickens of me. Three pot is honestly one of the greatest rappers that ever graced this generation. Most people overlook him, and they fail to see what's underneath. Three pot is the people's rapper. He channels the community's thoughts on such a level in which everyone, rich to poor, can learn from his songs. Got that dollar menu on my mind. It's what I need. Three Pac teaches people that sometimes you need to just take it easy. Life shouldn't be spent stressing out. He never fails to show the people that life's about doing what you want, when you want. Being the youngest rapper to ever convey such a message with such inspiration easily nets him the number 5 spot. If it weren't for his more controversial moments, he could have made number 1. Despite his later years, Three Pac always delivered when it came to metaphorical wordplay. my first McChicken, I was so young. At that very moment, I fell in love. I mean, without Pac, we wouldn't have a community. We'd ultimately fall apart and we'd shatter, as a whole and as a unit. 3Pac unites everybody, represents love, and speaks to mankind. Without a doubt, he is this generation's Jesus. 3Pac is the best rapper in the world. Mm. Number four, Lil Debbie. Being the hottest female rapper in the game is a hard task. So how does Lil Debbie handle it? Perfectly. She manages to remain a symbol of freedom and hope while retaining all the skills that define a great lyricist. Drawing inspiration from Jane Addams, Colonel Sanders, and Foghorn Leghorn, Lil Debbie takes it to the next level when she portrays life in the streets. Raised by Mark Wahlberg in the Antarctic, she was trained from the age of three to become what she has become today, a masterpiece. Before you plant the sea, you gotta test the soil. Now I'm on your roof, gargoyle. Lil Debbie posted in your high school locker. Rap game, Betty Crocker and Versace boxes. Knowing the only way to a young man's heart, Lil Debbie uses this as a way to teach, inspire, and change the world. And who taught her that? Her mentor, Riff Raff, who himself easily deserves his own spot on this list. Number 3.5 Riff Raff. 
better stay paid, stay on the front page. Yo. Anyone who doesn't instantly recognize Riff Raff as a god amongst men might need some help. And that's what Riff Raff does. He separates the men from the boys. You might be noticing a trend on this list. The greatest rappers do what they want, when they want. Riff Raff isn't worried what you think of him, he's out there doing what he likes and not wasting a minute of it. That alone qualifies him as one of the best. Diamonds cross my lima, lima. Diamonds cross my two seater. Uh. Bitches act like Aquafina. I'ma be a steamer. I'ma steam clean. <laughs> Hi Hira. How you doing? Long time no see. <laughs> Number three. Yeah. Your boy Banks. Hi Hira. How you doing? I know that you're hitting on me. The more that you hit. Whereas other rappers on this list address the fact that it's important to do what you want, Bangs represents individuality and uniqueness while he concerns his songs with a deeper message. Along the lines of Riff Raff and Lil Debbie, Bangs adds to the fact by telling the public it doesn't matter what people think of you, as long as you're doing you. you know I'm doing my thing. I'm getting money like a paper. This Sudanese prince threw away royalty much like Akeem in Coming to America just so he could become the people's rapper and do what he loves to do. Ladies show me love and the haters wanna fight me Why? Cause they see me I'm so fly No lie, do your own shit Stop hitting on me when you see me with my own chick Yeah, you know what I mean? And without a doubt, no one makes love songs like Banks Banks, and this track is dedicated to all the ladies out there Who like to go to the movies, you know, especially you girl There's nothing too much more to say about Banks but I have to mention how hard it was for me to pit him at number 3. When I approached these top few, it was a struggle to pick favorites. But Bangs will always have a special place in my heart. Let's sit down and just be by my side. I got the popcorn, I know what else you like, you like. So I gave my sermon an urban kick. My Number two, fly, my Pastor Jim. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ is my nigga. Woo. Putting the other rappers to shame, Pastor Jim is as hardcore as they get. When people define great rappers, they consider lyrical content and an overall message. But Pastor Jim is a different kind of man. Known to literally off anyone who dares challenge him in a battle, Jim is the most notorious rapper of all time. All the other MCs, I wish them well, but if you live in sin, you burn in hell. And his wife actually might be the one that's behind it all. Jesus Christ is my nigga. He's the son of the original G. The couple is literally linked to over 57 murders that all involve rappers. I don't get mad and I don't critique. I forgive him and turn the other uh, cheek. What earns Pastor Jim this number two spot is not the fact that he would kill me if I didn't include him, which he might actually would have killed me if I didn't include him, but his ability to maintain such a lifestyle while being able to live well into his 70s. Jesus Christ is a nigga. Is he gone? Let his light shine through ya. Let his love pop a cap in your butt and say hallelujah. Jesus Christ is a nigga. He's a homie MC, JC, you see. He's an honest, caring, peace-loving nigga like me. Yeah. Hi, Hira. How you doing? I know that you're hitting on me. The more that you hit on me, the more that I do my thing. Hi, Hira. I know you hit it on me, you know I'm doing my thing, I'm getting money like a paper. You already know how I do it, man. I kill shit, rip the rat game up, motherfucking everything, man. We got rich in it, everything. I don't give a fuck, fuck that. Bitch, I own swag. I'm a star like I'm in sack. I'm so fat like I'm in sack. I told that tech and I hold that Mac. To sum up Lil B's greatness, he takes everybody's skills and embodies them with his own unique style. Bitch, what's what? 
Seriously, he takes Joe's tenacity, Three Pac's ingenuity, Riff Raff's style, Bangs' attitude, and Jim's killer instinct to form a style all on his own. Over this week, I be high, bitches, straight from the hood, shit. Evil base guy, drop my top and I don't get right. Lil B knows he's the best. And that's alright, because that only makes him better. People try to imitate him, but no one will ever be able to reach his level. You know I'm more famous than you. Than you, and I can do everything that you can't do or try to. Yeah, I spell a V stop, looking for a senorita, Mexican, Brazilian, Nicaraguan, that's what I meant. To bring two to the ranch and pass them, put them all down, I don't pass them, I cuff them. Yes, bitch, I said I cuff them. Fuck their ass, that's where I net it. Pop the Viagra, and I'm feeling like nice. No homo. By the way, I am dead serious.